Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm Julie, keeper of my home. You've been wondering, where in the world have I been? Well, I have been residing in the world of crazy. <laughs> Not a place anyone wants to go. And uh, yeah, it's, it's, been, it's been a roller coaster ride here. Uh, last video I did, I was getting ready for fall and um, my husband and I, uh, our anniversary came up. We were married 35 years in August, and we decided to get married again. Uh, we renewed our vows, so that was a special time, and we went away for a few days. And while we were away, that's when the roller coaster began. Uh, we received a phone call that, that um, the night of our anniversary, actually, that uh, my husband's niece, um, 43 years old, had passed away. She had uh, a very severe uh, disease and uh, she, uh, she just didn't live through it. And um, we were very saddened by this news. And uh, a week or two later, my mom's sister passed away. Um, we've just been riding this really big roller coaster that uh, we would like to get off of, but it seems to continue. We've just been dealing with a son who has health issues and he's been uh, back and forth with the ER and doctors uh, with that. He's actually currently at the ER um, as I'm filming this. Um, we've also had um, other uh, family uh, struggles and um, issues that we're helping um, other family members get through. And we have been helping our son and daughter-in-law with their girls <laughs> because they're down to one vehicle. So we've been the carpool for school and daycare and a lot of overnighters. And it's been really, really crazy here. Um, it's been really crazy. So, moving right along, I had started to film before all of this craziness happened. I had actually started to film another makeover. I have little bits and pieces of the beginning of that video, if I can find that, because I've been switching everything over onto a different computer, learning a different editing system, and oh, the list goes on. It's really, truly been upside down here. Um, anyway, I started that makeover and like I said, I have some footage of it. My sister ended up coming over and helping me because I was very overwhelmed. I know you saw my closet video. If you haven't, I can link that above. Uh, that was a bit overwhelming space for me, but you just wait. <laughs> until you see this space. <laughs> it was nothing compared to this space. This is a space that literally has not been finished in the, well, it'll be six years next month that we've lived in this house. And that's how long that room, this room, has gone unfinished. Because I just couldn't decide on what to do with it. And it's still not completely finished. I still have trim to do and I still have to finish some painting. But it's organized. It is organized and it looks a lot better than it did. So just in time for Christmas because that season will be coming along soon and yeah, this room usually ends up upside down about that time of year every year. So without any further delay. Okay, so as we come up to the top of the stairs, I'm right standing actually at the top of the stairs. Um, this is our hallway. 
I know you've seen this before and you've probably seen this door multiple times. This door right here. I always have it closed and there's a reason for that. It's because it's always a wreck and I never want it seen. So, well, you saw the wreck. <laughs> Let's go look at what it looks like now. Keep in mind, it is not completely finished. There is still some painting. Um, I have a, an old antique radio sitting here and a chalkboard that was in our kitchen that I can't figure out what to do with yet. Um, it doesn't, uh, chalk doesn't work on it very well, so I think I have to repaint the chalk paint on there again. And um, this is our upstairs vacuum. And you can see this is the actual color of what the trim in the room is going to be. And I had tried out this color, didn't like it. It's what's in our guest room. And so I'm painting over it and I haven't finished doing that yet. So, and you can see that um, the painting goes up and then there's a space which molding has to go up there. So we haven't done that yet either. So over here, um, I love this. I, I love this. Love that. That was an idea that I had for a really, really long time. I've been wanting to do. I knew exactly in my mind what I wanted. Um, so that was something I had set aside, but had yet to complete. This ladder is from a 1940 something fire truck about uh, two hours north of us. The ladder was at uh, a church yard sale and it had a sign on it saying make a donation. So we made a donation and quickly took the ladder. <laughs> I love this ladder. I've had it for I don't even know how many years. You can see it's, um, I don't know, this camera is horrible at focusing. so. Um, you can see some chippy red paint on here. I just love that old chippy paint. Uh, it's rusted in places and I love it. It just has so much character. So despite my sister really thinking that I was crazy to put this on um, my wall, she thought that I should actually put quilts on it, but I have one in the other room with quilts on it. So I really wanted to do something creative with this. And I knew that I wanted to put it up on the wall and do something. So I found these letters. They're just wooden letters from Walmart. And I did each one differently and spelled out the word create. Now this one is wrapped in yarn, two different kinds of yarn, creating two different kinds of texture and just a neat design. And this one is painted and uh, it's painted to make it look like it's got bubbles. So that's really neat. And then we have the E and that one is done differently and so on and so forth. Um, I just love them. Each one has a different technique to it. This one has been decoupaged with newspaper and this is a pumpkin our granddaughter did. And she wanted that up there with the letters. So we put that up there. It's perfect season for it. So I love that part of the room. And then down below it, we have a countertop and um, some storage. Now, like I said, we're not finished painting. I need to finish painting this. And this whole piece here is built in, but yet it's not connected to the walls. It is just sitting on a platform that um, our carpenter did. He's the same guy that did our living room beams. And um, I told him I wanted something that would give me storage, but I didn't want to have to go buy materials. <laughs> I wanted to use what I had here, and I had a lot of stuff that I could use, and that's exactly what he did. Um, you can see, I still, I started, we had doors on here, and I didn't like the doors. It just, I don't know, I, I just couldn't get beyond the doors. I had visualized a curtain, so I took the doors off and put a curtain on there. And, and behind this is just totes and different things, um, my camera equipment and, and stuff I can show you. Just storage. Uh, there's some stencils in there, um, just 
regular old storage. And then over here I have some totes. They're just some plastic totes that uh, fit perfectly. I could fit three of them perfectly. That was not planned, but it worked out really great. And I have different things in each one. And then I have three filing cabinets that fit perfectly underneath of here. And I have things in those drawers. So I have drawer space, I have shelf space, and bin space. I love it. it, it I mean, I did not have this before. There was nothing in this room uh, like this. And I have a countertop. I love that I have a countertop. And this is just, believe it or not, it's there's chipboard underneath of this. Like I said, we were just using stuff that I had here. I didn't want to have to go out and buy anything new. I wanted to recycle as much as possible. Uh, the chipboard looked horrible painted. So what I did was I found some wallpaper at a thrift store. It was just um, a roll that hadn't been used and it's really good heavy vinyl paper and I love it. I mean it just it created a flat surface for me. So my sister and I decoupaged it um, not on the top part. We didn't decoupage the top. We just decoupaged underneath because the paper was old so the paste did not stick anymore. I didn't have wallpaper paste. I wanted to get this done so uh, we just put decoupage glue on the back of it and we just rubbed it on there and it, I mean it's on there really really well and we've used it I've had water spilled on it and it, it it's great it's perfectly functional for this space and I love the color so right here I'm able to this is an old um, box crate uh, from the coca-cola company it's just an old crate I've had for many many years uh, I keep all of my paint brushes and different things in there and Yes, I have a television in here. It was an extra TV that we had because we no longer have our sitting room. So this happened to be the perfect spot for it because I can watch YouTube while I am doing projects. And when the kids are doing projects, they get to watch their favorite show at the same time. So I have my diffuser and I have my furkin bucket. And I, I've got some extra scissors in there and some paper towels. And this is just a... Um, tabletop desk that I keep things in. It belonged to my aunt and I love it. So um, that fits perfectly up there. So that gives me a really great space to use. Something I did not have before. And over here, speaking of great spaces, I love this space. I needed a designated desk space because I was constantly using the island downstairs. Uh, these cabinets I got, I believe, I want to say Ikea. I think they're Ikea. Uh, there's two of them. I cannot remember the cost, but I can look them up and link them below if you'd like. They, um, they're they just like little filing cabinets. They're, there's not, um, you know, they're just like it's metal. So they're on wheels and they are low, but they they're perfect for this chair, which is also a thrift store item. And I didn't like, let me move that for you. I didn't like the color of it. It was really, really awful. Let me see if I can show you. It was an awful color green and there were some stains on it. Um, and so I found this, it was actually from an ad on Instagram. And look at this, it's so neat. It just, it's just elastic and it fits right on the bottom seat. And it also fits on the back as well. It has like little ears on it because it's not, um, this isn't square, um, but uh, it, it still fits, it works, and I love it. It takes care of an ugly chair, and they had several different um, styles to choose from, and that's the style I went with. Um, and uh, if you are interested, I can link that below as well. Hopefully I can still find it. <laughs> Okay, so this desk is just a piece of chipboard as well, and I also wallpapered the top of that. It makes the perfect desktop. I mean, it, it works beautifully. And you can see our new computer. I love it. It's not a laptop. It's a desktop, and I love it. It's towerless, and the keyboard is wireless. The mouse is wireless, except I have a hard time with wireless mouse, so I hooked up our uh, other mouse to it 
and I just I'm so used to it that that's that works for me and uh, then we have uh, the printer over there on top of another filing cabinet and I still have all of this paperwork that I'm this is the last of my mess right here that I have to go through so uh, once I get through that and get the painting and the trim work done this room will be finished this is a very large bulletin board that I've had for a number of years um, uh, that was also gotten at a thrift store and it uh, works great for this space so I just keep all kinds of things on there and oh my gotta show you these pictures look at that sweet little baby that is my husband when he was not very old I'm not sure how old he was and look at this porker yep that was me so I asked my granddaughter who these were I said do you know who these pictures are she said that's my dad and that's me <laughs> I thought that was cute she's 10 <laughs> so okay let's pan around the room here a little bit uh, this is my table my big tabletop it sits in the middle of the room let me see if I can get a different view of it for you here we go this table um, the top alone belonged to my aunt she is in her 80s for years all the while I was growing up she was a seamstress and uh, she she that's what she did for a living and she supported her family that way and uh, when she retired she asked me if I would like to have her tabletop and of course I said yes I am honored to be able to have that and uh, the legs were so wobbly and they did not support the table well at all uh, so I had my brother build some shelves um, to put on each end and again I have storage so it works perfectly and then we have different bar stools which are also thrift store items uh, things don't have to cost a lot you don't need new as long as it functions you know that's all you need right so this is kind of my sewing area here and uh, my machine that is probably I'm gonna say 32 33 years old yeah it's an oldie and it works great so you don't fix what isn't broken <laughs> I've never replaced it then I have a basket full of yarns and then I have this cabinet here which up top uh, you probably recognize the barn because uh, that's what I have out at Christmas time under our Christmas tree but this is just full of different supplies and things that I have uh, for this room just different things glue guns glue sticks, buttons, thread, whatever I need. And underneath I have um, stains, paints, you know, different things like that. So uh, it's great to have a place for all of that. And I'm thinking actually of painting that cabinet just so that it disappears a little bit more because it is, it is dark and um, I'd kind of like for it to disappear. But I mean, that's not something I have to do. It's just something I may do. Um, and this is a little medicine cabinet actually I bought at a thrift store I love it and I thought that would look great um, somewhere I just couldn't pass it up it was three dollars and I love it it's very old and it was loved by somebody at some at one time so I'm glad that it's mine now so I will find a home for that okay so we're coming around full circle because here's the door and again like I said we have not finished painting so I, I, I know I have a lot to do. I just feels like, it feels like my life is never ending painting. I just think that I get away from it and there's one more thing. This shelf was in our closet and it had a lot of books and things on it. I took it out and I placed it here next to the door and this is, all of this stuff is just stuff for our grandkids. It's different um, chalks and crayons and uh, glue sticks and, and just different scissors and things, kids safe stuff, uh, washable markers and different things and construction paper and 
um, a cloth that I can put out on the table that I can wash the paint off of, um, stamps and things, just fun things for the kids and it's just strictly all the kids stuff. So it's nice to have that station there. And then I come around here and I have the box for our vacuum and that is a pile of, uh, yes, yeah, sewing projects. <laughs> I have a lot of, you know, just stuff that I need to tidy up and that have holes or missing buttons or, you know, something. So I still need to do that. And this is an old window that uh, was once at the old farmhouse where we used to live. I had that up in the farmhouse when we lived there. I had just taken a few pieces of fabric, uh, stitched them together, just made like crazy quilt type thing. Um, put it on the back of the window and put a chain on it and hung it up and I couldn't bear to leave it behind. I had to bring it with me. I just love it. So that just hangs in here. This door still needs more painting. My battery is about ready to die. I'm going to talk quick here. Uh, I don't know what to put here. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. If you have any ideas, I'm, I'm open to anything. So, um, yeah, this is the room. This is the room that I do not show. And you can see we did some, uh, grandkids and I did some pumpkin painting. So, yeah. So that's something that's sitting out drying. And it's already a great room to use. So we just, I, I'm thrilled. I'm thrilled that this room is coming. This It's come this far. So behind this door, I will show you. This is a storage closet. Okay, inside this closet door, again, it's not painted, I have a wreath hanger. Uh, it's just hanging uh, on the inside. And this is just different smocks, paint smocks, that I have for our girls, um, all of our grandkids, each one. They just pick the one that they like and they wear it. But I love these because although this is fabric, it's just a cotton fabric, the, the sleeves, this is like a, I don't know how to explain it. It's like a, almost like a, like a vinyl type fabric. And it's easy to wipe off and I love it. Uh, I've got three of those. Those were also a thrift store buy. And this as well, this is so cute, um, thrift store. These are great items to have when you have kids that like to do art and stuff. And this is more for um, an older child, which I have a couple of ones for the older kids. So um, old shirts work great too. Um, men's shirts, because they're oversized, you can put those on, put them on backwards. I mean, they, it just works great for an apron for a child. So let's go into the closet here. Okay, this, I will tell you, uh, this closet is where I store all of our seasonal items. Well, I say that, but I did weed through it. I got rid of a lot of stuff. This is all Christmas. You can hear my clock in the background chiming. Um, this is all Christmas stuff, every bit of it. This whole section is just Christmas and it is completely organized on that side. Then we go over here and up here I have some old things that belong to um, either my kids or my sister or just different things that are memory things that I hang on to. These are gifts that um, I have ready to give. I just have different things that um, if I get something new, um, you know, find something for a great deal, I'll put it in my gift box and uh, give it out at Christmas or birthdays, whatever. I, I just keep those going. Um, and we have my Dave Ramsey uh, set here. Love that. If you don't know Dave Ramsey, you need to check him out because he is the budget king. And that is how my husband and I... Um, were able to uh, build this house as we followed uh, all of his rules and he's great. So this is a project that my husband and I are working on together. We're just building a little log cabin and uh, so I'll, I'll, I'll keep you posted on how that's going. We haven't been able to work on it lately because it's been, like I said, crazy here. But uh, we are going to finish that before Christmas because I want it put out for Christmas. 
Uh, this is a basket full of projects. These are some empty totes, extra totes that I have, as well as this and this. And this is a project that uh, a it's some clay, I think, um, molding moldable clay that um, has hardened. Our daughter, our uh, granddaughter, has been working on a little project. So uh, we keep it here, and she comes and paints every once in a while. These totes, um, this is something I got. Oh, I can't remember where I got it. If I got it at a thrift store, I can't remember where I got this. But um, I think it was given to me, but I didn't want to throw it away. I thought it's it's useful. I can I can paint that. I can do something with it and put it up. But these two totes are full of this one is full of fabric and this one is full of summer items. And this is a bag. It's not actually what you think it is. <laughs> it's a, a grain sack for um hmm, let's see. I don't know if it's my sister's chicken feed or what it is I'm not sure but uh, she made it into a bag let me see if I can show you she actually took it it's like like a like a bag of like a dog food bag like um, it's for poultry poultry food um, but it's made out of the same stuff you would get a dog food um, I guess is all and it's not paper but it's almost like um I don't know if you if you go to your local tractor supply or feed store uh, you'll you'll know what I mean it's a it's a grain sack but uh, she made that into a bag isn't that neat and um, I can just reuse it and right now it has my fabric for my rag rugs so I keep that in there and more fabric for rag rugs I just couldn't get rid of that stuff although believe it or not I got rid of two very big totes full of fabric so um, let me see we'll go over here <clears throat> okay over here it's just decorating stuff um, just the extra stuff that I had you can see um, my summer stuff pretty much it's my summer stuff I guess I would say uh, some of it um, I have been putting a lot of things down in the basement putting it in totes, labeling the totes, organizing everything. That was one of the things I, I needed to do with this closet was get everything organized and put it in uh, on shelves downstairs in our basement. Then here, these are just things that, um, just like uh, picture frames and different things that we don't use, but I, you know, some have pictures in them, some are just extra frames. Uh, just a lot of stuff that we've had over the years and a lot of candlesticks, um, different, some seasonal things, I guess. And, and that's what this closet is for. It's to hold all of this stuff. It's stuff that I use, but I don't use all the time. And again, down here, it's the same thing. A lot of decorating items and stuff. And as long as it fits in there and it's out of the way, that's all that matters. Okay, so this is where the shelf that I use for the kids items, this is where it used to be. This shelf in here now was out there. Because it was so big, I really I really wanted to trade out spaces and so I put all the books and things on this one and swapped it out. And yes, all of those fit on that little shelf, believe it or not. <laughs> Um, and then down here, I just have some more um, different stuff like uh, polyfill for pillows and uh, liners for quilts and a bag full of ribbons and zippers and different things like that and just an extra bag here. Um, and so, yeah, that's what this is. Uh, this closet is for. I just have different things hanging here uh, to use at some point. Um, pictures that um, I use different times of the year. Um, I take them out when I need them, swap them with the others. I mean, this is just kind of like my store, I guess I would say. You can see I have my Christmas trees in here and uh, a lot of paint cans, different paints that we use throughout the house. Just different stuff. So it's just kind of nice to have this space and oh boy, it's so much more organized than it was and uh, yeah so that's that's this space folks so I hope you enjoyed this video I know you didn't get to see me really declutter and redo 
um, which we all love that part of it. Um, but like I said, it was really overwhelming and not just that. My sister helped me and she was a huge help. My daughter-in-law also came a day and she helped me quite a bit. Um, neither of which wanted to be on film. So it would have been extremely hard for me to, um, to show this process and not get them in there and I did have to respect their wishes. So that's what happens. But you get to see the results of Oh my gosh, this space, oh, I am so happy, really truly happy because, well, we know what it's like to live in a space that, uh, I'm assuming we, we all know what it's like to live in a space that is just completely upside down and we just don't know what we want to do with it. I mean, I love having this space, but I didn't know what I wanted to do with it. I hadn't really spent a lot of time thinking about it. I taught a craft class for years and I just this room I still couldn't figure it out I mean it, it worked in the way that I had stuff in places but that room that closet was jam-packed um, I had so many shelves and bins and uh, boxes and things everywhere in here but no real true storage or no true home for anything and in order to have a really organized space I feel like everything needs a home. I am, I've always been very organized. Um, I like to have things in their place. Um, I like to be able to know that when I go to that place, it's going to be there every time. And that is just a good feeling for me and I like that. So I needed that in here and I didn't have it. And because I didn't have it, I just could not function in here. I, I just could not function. I didn't use this space. Um, which was sad. It was really sad that I didn't use this space because it's a beautiful space and uh, it's just waste. This room now has a true function and I will be using it a lot. Uh, I absolutely love it. Our kids, our grandkids love it. So, so this is just going to be great and I can babble on about this for, I don't know, the rest of the evening but I'm not going to because my husband just got home from work so I'm going to go down and visit with him. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I would love for you to do that below. And if this is a video that you like, leave me a thumbs, thumbs up as well. Uh, I have lots of other makeover videos. You can go back and look at them if you haven't already. And um, yeah. Thank you for stopping by and thank you for being patient with me. I know I have been absent for a while and I apologize for that. I'm going to try to do better. My life is still a little upside down and crazy. I don't honestly know how quickly I'm going to get this video up, but hopefully it will be soon after I have filmed it. So, oh, I don't want to forget. I almost forgot. Country Sampler is coming. I don't know if I'm going to have this video up before they come or after they've already been here. But as of right now while I'm filming this, they are actually coming like next week. It's like a week from today. Um, I'm filming this on a Friday and they're coming next Friday. Uh, I am so excited and no, I am not ready. I am not decorated for fall. I have been doing what I do best. I've been procrastinating. I, I really do that, you know, with things like this. Totally making over a room in my house. <laughs> Thinking, yep, if I just ignore that, that'll get itself done all by itself. Well, it's not going to, and I do need to decorate. I'm just, I don't know. I'm just feeling the anxiety of them coming. And um, honestly, I work great under pressure. I seem to do better under pressure, so I will get my fall decorating done and uh, they will come. I don't know if I can film any parts of what they do or, you know, show them doing anything. Uh, I'm not sure they're going to let me, but if I can get a few clips, I'm going to try to, but just know they're coming next week. I will try to get this video up before then. If not, you'll see it after, and somewhere 
in there. I will let you know how the photo shoot goes. So, until next time.